absolute privilege to be here at this conference. It's a very important conference for women uh, within the just, total justice system uh, in Egypt. I'm actually here because of my police background and former president of the International Association of Women Police. And I now um, advise and uh, provide ideas for other women's progression, particularly within policing. Um, I have my experience. I can share is, my, is from the United Kingdom, where in 2001 a strategy called Gender Agenda was launched. Uh, that uh, helped push the uh, or raise the profile of women in the UK policing, and took great positive steps. I now uh, have developed with a colleague an initiative called Gender Agenda International which again is to raise the profile of issues affecting women in policing but also that connection with the community. Now there's some really strong powerful women here in Egypt. It's been a great conference, uh, women in parliament, in justice and in law enforcement and it's about bringing all of that together, all that passion and all that power and uh, commitment to making a better society for Egypt. So it's important that at the end of this conference any recommendations that come out of it are taken on board uh, within Egypt and that women can play their full part in the Egyptian society because that is important not only for gaining trust and confidence in policing but trust and confidence um, for women in the community uh, their access to justice and uh, it's one thing that I'd like to say certainly to all the women out there who are considering either joining the police or who have already taken that step into joining the police is that they need to follow their dreams, they need to remain true to themselves and that they will succeed. It will, it will be hard and it will be tough but the one thing that they need to do is find uh, men that will support them, women, other women that will support them and there is a global network of women uh, in policing around the world who are prepared to step in, support their uh, pioneering um, battles, if you like, and there will be barriers put in their way. But those of us who have been through some of those challenges can actually help them to, to find a way around the barriers instead of having to always try climbing over them. And so, um, you know, it, it will make a difference, women really increasing in Egypt for all women in the community as well. Well, it's been a huge privilege to be here. It's been amazing to watch young and older women who've managed to get into what has been an all-male judiciary and show their mettle as their careers have progressed. Now they are showing that in Parliament and in the judiciary, women do make a difference. But it's really my view that um, equality, that's to say that women play their full part in society, actually brings about a more settled, stable and cohesive society. And I hope that in the future, the women that I've met today, some of them are really able, young, intellectual and enthusiastic, are going to be the um, senior judges of the future. It's taken a long time in England and Wales, I can tell you, so um, I'm sure they'll have to be a little bit patient. But what the uh, ability and commitment I've seen here in this conference has been marvellous.